I have to say, it's an absolute thrill uh, to be here at St. Lawrence's Church. It's about 15 years ago since I came in. You've got an all enthusiasts here and I've always wanted to get inside the church and this is a magic moment when we've all been able to come in and explore. The oldest part of the church, dating to the 15th century, probably about 1480, something like that. Although there was a religious establishment here even before 1480, probably back to about the 11th century, this tower is the oldest part of the church and the oldest standing building anywhere in Brentford. At the far end was the, the main entrance to the church, so the tower extends up above here and within the tower there were a number of things. First of all there was a clock which faced north onto the high street which was there until the 1950s. There were also bells, there was a peal of bells from which the Six Bells pub next door takes its name. And the bells were generally rung on ceremonial occasions, so if royalty was passing through on their way to Windsor, along the high street, the bells would have pealed. One or two of the bells were very old, going back to about the 16th century. The six bells on their cast iron bell frame are no longer in the tower of St. Lawrence's Church. In 1845, Thomas Faulkner provided a description of the bells. The six bells at the church were cast in the years 1520, 1713, 1718, 1755, 1801 and 1840. Jim will have explained that the tower dates from the 15th century. The rest of the church is from the 18th century and it was entirely rebuilt um, by a uh, local stonemason called Hardwick, who went on to have children um, who became famous architects, and their tomb is actually here. There was another architect involved, Bolton Man Waring. Uh, he had, um, his claim to fame is he built the London Hospital in uh, the East End. So when, when the church was originally remodeled in 1765 by Hardwick and, um, and Man Waring, um, it didn't have the arcading down the side here, nor these uh, fabulous wooden pillars. There was actually a floor, a mezzanine floor was in, or a gallery all the way around. And in Victorian times, obviously, things become fashionable and things go out of fashion. And it was obviously decided to remodel the church. So in the late 19th century, the arcade was actually built, the mezzanine floor was taken down, all this wonderful woodwork was put in and this makes the church unique. This is the only church in the UK that has anything like this and, and it's absolutely fabulous. When you look up um, the detail that they bothered to put right at the top of the building where well, you can't really see it, you're not going to be up there looking at it but it's really really tremendous. When we came in up the steps, we saw the vault of George Cooper, and that is one of the gentlemen on the memorial here. There were two uh, doctors in the, in the family. One I remember reading a um, story of in the local studies library in Chiswick, where he was a surgeon at Bart's Hospital. On both sides of the altar are the memorials for the Clitheroe family, who were the lords of the manor, uh, of Boston. They're missing now. Um, one I know is in a garden wall in Highgate. The surroundings for that 
the stonework and the coat of arms are in Australia. This was discovered via the, a message to the local history society. The one for Christopher Clitheroe, the second Clitheroe owner of the estate, his was uh, offered to the house. So, what do you reckon this is? This is the font. The font. The font. Yes. There it is in the picture. The base of the font, where baptisms will take place, and there's the little rectangular. Um, presumably, the vicar would stand on there um, when conducting a baptism. That's one of the really exciting things here for today. Yes. Yeah. Some of the things I've seen before, but. Yeah. That's the uh, new yeah. discovery. We've all wanted to get in and have a good look at the church and that's been a delightful exploring we've been doing. I really do hope that something can, some, Community use can be found for it. Thank you to Ballymore for facilitating this. It's been an absolute thrill and so exciting to be actually in St Lawrence's after all these years. Um, I mean, this church is really as the jewel in, in Brentford's crown. Mm.